Hey guys, I'm with Dan. Well, someone's missing. Hang on. Let's see if I get this right. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, you, you not won. again. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was trying to get Kent, actually. I have a phone. I know, I know. We, we were trying to do that. We were trying to do that. Uh, I was trying to get Kent here for a video, but he might be busy. He might be on the other snap. Well, I'm here now, so I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay, okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> guys, uh, back to intro. Um, I'm reviewing Dan. I'm Zero to Chaos. Uh, so today is actually a random moment, because I actually want to talk about a really good series that I'm used to. Uh, back in the 90s, you know, we used to have Pokemon and all that, and that became the biggest rage in America, from video games, card games, to the anime, which is still ongoing, and actually ending this year, which I'm... Well... Oh, man, he's been 10 for so long. The tour of greatness. <laughs> that is Ash Ketchum. Oh, yeah. But, uh, one thing as well. Hang on a second. I want to make sure. No disturbances <laughs> for the video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to what we're doing. Uh, one other series that we liked to watch back in the day, besides Pokemon, was one that I had a lot more favoritism for, and people thought I was crazy for it. And it was Digimon. Yes. Uh, the one reason why I like Digimon 4 is because, well, your partner animal thing. I don't know what you really call them. I guess monster. Partner monster. They, they could you, talk. They, you, just, they could talk. And it was fun. Because like, what do you need? Food. Here you go. Here's your food. Meanwhile, Pikachu, what do you need? Pika Pikachu. Sure. Where's the one that can translate? Meow here. <laughs> right. It's like, shut up and do that electric attack and get over with it. <laughs> um, but overall, po Pokemon was still pretty cool. Oh, for sure. And even the games, like even though like a lot of the games are still like kind of repeat mm -hmm. throughout the series, there was still a different storyline of just playing the story. Mm -hmm. I thought Pokemon was more about like, the story gameplay, kind of the same, and they added new new stuff recently. Yeah, I think but, like like with Pokemon, the the imagination of I guess you say like from that first region. So they were like, yeah, you know, of course, one, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, yeah. hey, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> and You're in your been... 30s. I'm going to be 30 this year. Right. So, like, I'm, oh. in my, I'm in my 30s, and I remember when Pokemon first dropped. From then till now, we've had, I think, three different, maybe four different uh, gaming iterations of Pokemon. Like, the regular base, like, you know, uh, yellow, silver, et cetera, et cetera. Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, which, let's be real, it's just regular Pokemon minus the whole convoluted story. Just 3D leveled. And then we had, uh, there was that one, like, I think, oh, um, Arceus, the one that just came out. Yes, Pokemon which Arceus. Changed which everything. I loved it because you could still do the regular Pokemon game itself, or you can do what everybody always wanted to do. Here, good going. Got it, yes. Oh, and, I'm sorry, I totally forgot, Pokemon Go. <laughs> He's all five. Yeah, and, same thing. But also, me being a kid at the time, whose parents were just like, N "No, Pokemon <laughs> evil. You ain't watching that." There was Digimon. Now, notes, side note: the fact that I was able to watch Digimon and not Pokemon as a child still, till this day, rocks my brain. And considering that the first main <laughs> bad guy in Digimon, the first the first season of Digimon, the bad guy's name is Devimon, a.k.a. Devil Monster. The devil! The and devil. I know it's going to sound a lot because... Uh, I'm just going to forewarn it right here, put it down here. You're going to hear Mon a lot because every Digimon name ends in Mon. Why? Don't know. It just how it is, Mon. Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money, Mon. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Money, Mon. Uh, Digivolves a cash, Mon. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I think another cool thing about the Digimon craze of mm -hmm. of, of, of that time was that like they both kind of released at the same time. So it's like. I just remember going to school, and it's like, oh, you're a Digimon fan? Hell yeah, I'm a Digimon fan. Oh, Pokemon, where that? No, I'm a Digimon, where that? I even remember just... the arguments from back in school, like, who to win the fight? Pokemon, Digimon. Pokemon. Why is that? Because there are legendary Pokemon. There are legendary Digimon. Like there... there are mythical Pokemon. There are mythical <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> that was all Oh, yeah? Had. Well, uh, what can Digimon do that Pokemon can? They can fuse. <laughs> 
It's like, you take two powerful guys here and fuse them together to make an ultimate powerful guy. I'd be like, and note, it took Pokemon how long to bring Mega Evolutions in? And not how long does it last now? There you go. <laughs> they only last for like a, they only last for until the battle's over. It's over. Then you back. Digimon. I mean, in, in argument, the show did make it seem like Digimon were just kind of like, oh, you can power up to your Mega form, Ultimate form. True, then but there you was go back to rookie. True, but there was a little bit more to it in, for that. For because when the weaker Digimon had a human partner, that's when their powers grew. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'd take time, experience, and living the Digimon's the, life to evolve further and further. Right. We've seen it before. It's like, the circle of life happens. And another cool thing I think about Digimon that I enjoyed was the fact of the digital element of the game, of the games and the anime. Because a Pokemon, I'm not going to say that Pokemon was real, but, you know, Pokemon kind of set themselves as more being everything's together. So these Pokemon are within the world, same world as Ash, humans, Pokemon coincide. I'm a gamer, alright? I I love me some video games. And I instantly saw Digimon and was like, no, these are kids going into a digital world. That's a video game. This is fire. They being isekai oh, Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is like before Dot Hack. This is before Sword Art Online. You know, it was like People don't realize, like, the concept of those animes, season one, gen one Digimon, kids go to a freak, <laughs> kids just want to go to summer camp. Kids want to go to camp. <laughs> Boom. Here's your summer camp. You're out in the wild. You got to survive. <laughs> this is the worst summer camp ever. Are you kidding me? I'm battling a monster right now. <laughs> You're like, what is this? You see, you see these little, these little rookie, these little baby Digimon. You're like, what is this? Oh, congratulations. Hi there. <laughs> I'm a talking head. Just what the? You know who remembers uh, Tamagotchis? Like literally, the same that company owns them, right? The same was... company, and they even had. I remember the Digivices. Like the actual Digivices. Like oh yeah, yes. battle me. <laughs> They're sitting there just. How can we can? How can we just capitalize on all of this? Tamagotchi it? Yes. Yes. Who said that? Johnson, you're going places. The third guy usually gets thrown out the window. Give him a raise <laughs> and throw out the window again. What why? Because it's funny. But man, but um, but I do feel like Digimon does not get a lot of love like Pokemon does. I mean, I understand like Pokemon has stood the test of time. It, it's it's super. I mean, everyone knows Pokemon of everywhere. Course. Uh, don't get me wrong. Digimon does have it has its, its core groups. You know, we we love Digimon. It still has games that comes out. It still has a show, which I'm I just learned today that they had a newer anime out. But sadly, you may not get it in the States. Because it is dark. And I mean, like, as dark as Digimon can be. From the English one, from what we saw in English dubbing, they kidified it for the most part. But it was good kidified. It wasn't too right. much. It was the usual uh, pun there. Not your four kids, like, not the four chopping kids. screwed, like... <laughs> yeah, this was done by Fox. It was always done a little bit better. Right. Because it's still, you know, Japan and all that. And for four kids, they just tried to Americanize everything. Which actually, one thing that Kent told me, uh, for the donuts thing, you know, the rice ball donuts, mm -hmm. that was not for kids. That was actually Pokemon Company saying that. I'm like, mm -hmm. but why? Because yep. they, because we need, they won't know what a rice ball is. We gotta make it universal. We saw what it was. It's like they didn't change it to a donut. It's like, I remember, uh, I remember people go like, wow. So now my uncultured self is gonna go into a place, see a rice ball, and call it a donut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you know? It's just like, come on. I mean, it's not uncommon in Japan. They actually have a jelly-filled rice ball. Yeah. But you're going to go and call it a donut. You're going to look like a weirdo. Like, hey, a donut. What the hell he just called it? And then you're going to get mad when they give you a donut. And you're like, but I want that donut. The rice ball? No, it's a donut. Don't don't start this with me. Like, <laughs> you're like, oh, God. You're American, right? Yeah? Pokemon? Yep. Okay. They, they messed you up on that one. <laughs> we'll forgive you. Here's your donut. Like, uh, thank you. But one thing about Digimon that I always liked was there was more of a sense of danger on the show than Pokemon. I understand Pokemon are, well, let's be honest, they're dangerous. Yeah. Fire, breathe, electrical. But you see Ash walk off from it like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Burn my fire. Ah, Charizard, why? The kids on Digimon, they're literally dodging out of their life. Like, ah! I think the, the stakes, too. Because it was like the story to where it was, I felt like Pokemon was more geared towards... The child. I can tell that Digimon was like, 
we're, we, we have a collective story. Like we, of course, we want to push it towards children, but there's a deeper narrative to this that, in my young age, I think I wasn't really hip to. I loved it, of course, but the older I got and rewatched the show and watched all the older series... You saw, like, more meaning to it and all that kind of right. stuff. Right. I'm like, oh, there was layers to this. Oh, yeah. And actually, if you actually look into the story a little bit more on, uh, not to... Season 3 with Myotis Mon, mm -hmm. a.k.a. and his Japanese name was Vam Devi Mon. Mm -hmm. uh, basically vampire and all that. But anyways, uh, the episode with Pumpkin Mon and Gatsu Mon, the rock, uh, rock Digimon guy, they're basically running around the city having fun looking for the 8th Digidestin. I'm afraid that looking. They were having fun. They actually were protecting the two of the main characters. And the English dub... Uh, my Osman sent them to the underworld dungeon of his. Mm -hmm. And all you saw left was a piece of rock and the hatchet on Pumpkin Mon's head fall to the ground until dissipating. Like, they just died. They were literally it's killed. And here's, <laughs> and here's the worst part. In the digital world, they just reform back to an egg. In the real world, whew, gone. And again, that's where like those stakes came from. It was like, you know, Pokemon, you wouldn't see like a Pokemon die. Like, I think like the closest, I think in my opinion, the only one that they really... Stated had like those serious like was like Charizard. If the light, if the flame on Charizard's tail goes out, he's dead. Or my bad, Cubone. You know the whole thing with the the Cubone. Yeah, that was mostly with the Digibuy. So uh, talking about it. Yeah. But the closest we saw to death in Pokemon was actually in Sun and Moon. Okay. And that was when Ash caught Litten. Litten was being taken care of by I can't remember its name. It was like a it was like a dog. It was a dog Pokemon that had a lot of fur on it. Mm -hmm. Like, its eyes were covered. I guess it, like it was kind of blind and all that. Mm -hmm. And, basically, we see Ash, Litten, and this, and this other uh, Pokemon kind of coexisting, uh, kind of, you know, hanging out with each other. Ash takes Litten to go learn a new move, because Litten wants to learn a new move. They come back to where the dog's supposed to be, he's gone. Like, he passed away and just gone. Gone. And the next time you see him is when a certain Pokemon can like, actually talk to the spirits of, of Pokemon or people that have moved on. The dog shows up, as well as one of the other main characters, Mother, who passed. I'm like, oh! We had to catch up. We had to catch up. Digimon was putting too many feels in these people. But man, and, and it's, it's, and again, like, good writing, like, a show can go so far with good writing. I mean, I think that's obvious. But obvious. Least, I feel like where Pokemon had the flash and the aesthetic, Digimon had the story and, like, the, the meat and potatoes and the context, mm -hmm. the character development. You know, it wasn't just three, you know, main characters you're watching. You know, we had, we had like, eight Digidestins. Yeah, there were you know. eight characters in the story, and there was something going on with each and every one of them at certain points. The story would focus on one person, because their Digimon's going to be next to Digivolve and all that. And every time... TK got the worst of it all, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, at the end of the first season, his guy evolved to Anjuman. Like, yes! Yeah. It dies. No! <laughs> <laughs> then, then at the end of the series... Angemon finally go evolves to Ultimate to Magna Angemon. It's like, oh, sweet, what's next? We can be like, oh, no, the humans are going back to their world. No! What? <laughs> Why? I'm glad that he mentioned TK, because TK is by far my favorite character in Digimon. Why? He's not an annoying little kid. The, well, the thing was... Well, at first, he, he was. was at first. TK had, to me personally, had the best character arc. And then they just capitalized it in that second in the second series. When he was a little older, you know, he understood like it was cool because in season one, none of them really knew the stakes. They all went in it together. TK was the young kid, you know, very innocent. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You know, and Matt his brother I gotta I gotta protect my brother. Yeah, and at first I remember TK was, you know, a cry and all that. But as the as the first series went on, he grew. He mm -hmm. knew that like he had to understand the stakes quickly. Right. Otherwise, he knew not only him, his brother and all of his friends were dead, and him and I think Kyrie were the last ones to survive mm -hmm. uh, from Piedmon. Right. Until finally TK hey. uh, TK was able to have Anjuman evolve higher up. Mm -hmm. It was cool because you know, the show, season one of Digimon really focused really on Ty, Matt, and them. But you always was like, there's something with that TK and Kyrie and it was cool because that transition into season two, now kind of making, I feel like, you know, we still had the, the, the all the things. I feel like TK and Kyrie's growth and seeing how, like, we understand what this is already. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to 
shove it in your face like we've been here before blah, blah, blah. it's like no we've seen loss in the digital world and and we understand like this is serious that little piece that little nugget of just writing was so perfect for the show yeah they didn't like uh, try to take control of the whole group they're like listen guys We've been to this before. We're not sure how y'all got here. And they actually explained later on. Right. And even brought in the movie as well. I'm like, oh, so the movie's actually canon. Yes. That's got a core right there. Which, good job. Good job. You know, don't... Continuity. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it, 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 look, it ain't always got to make sense. But if you know a way to combine both products and make it make sense, good, good to you. Because, man, again, I mean, if, if we can go into that, just the, the Digimon movies... That, like, it's where Poke- Pokemon first movie, of course, will always get its GOAT status. Mm-hmm. That first Digimon movie is so underrated. It is ridiculous. I can understand why. Because it wasn't just one movie. It was actually three specials formed into a movie. Right, smushed together. And, unfortunately, they didn't really hold the ball that well with the movie. It was not handled right. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, I'm trying to remember a few of the things on there. But there were a few things that were cut. My only favorite scene on there was when Agumon turned gigantic, jumped over a truck, and all of a sudden you hear, Whoa, did you see that? No, I was sleeping. But you're driving! <laughs> you're like, I, I got the kid, I didn't understand that. I was like, oh, yeah. You know, you're like, oh, oh, he would have died regardless. And then point. the fire breath came out and killed him. Like, did Agumon just snipe these two dudes? <laughs> He's like, he did. <laughs> he did, did. But I know, um, so I have to ask, what was your favorite Digimon? Like, my favorite um, specific Digimon? Yeah. Oh, that's a hard one right there, because there are a lot of good ones. Omnimon was really my biggest favorite one, because, well, when you first saw Omnimon, he just came out Boston. I'm like, oh, awesome. Heads of War, Greymon, Metal Gurumon, Sword and Can, like, get me. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I want him. Oh, man. I would say by far, Terriermon. Of course, of course. Like, my love for that little bunny and all of its evolutions was, come on, you you literally digivolve into a rabbit with two gatling fists. <laughs> what? Then you digivolve into a rabbit. That's a mech. You're a Gundam. A mech rabbit. A mech rabbit. It just keeps going from there. And like, and then with the anime series, it gave me my slogan that moment time. Just chill. Momentai. Momentai. Like, I want to get that tattooed. I, 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 I want to get the Crest of Hope, and I want to get Momentai tattooed on me. And just let people go, what the? Just Momentai. Is it like Hakuna Matata? Better. End note. I, I, and in my opinion, that was that was the best uh, series of Digimon. Digimon Tamers. Yes. The Tamer, the Tamer arc was... I agree. I still wish they had a little more time in the digital world, like mm-hmm. the first series did. But understandable, you know, different different story entirely. Mm-hmm. I did find the characters to be a little more likable because they were a little older. Mm-hmm. They knew what Digimon were, right? Uh, and one of the cool aspects was the cards to actually Man. affect your Digimon, which was in their little game, but it actually affected the actual tamers. Too. Now, it's funny. I say that's my favorite one, but like the cards. Again, the older you get, you realize things, right? It was, like, perfect, perfect marketing. I was like, yo, they literally put the cards in. They had no reason to. They were just like, we got to sell these cards, all right? Pokemon killing them card games. We have a card game. Put it in the anime. And they're just like, but how do we make this make sense? Don't care. It's Digimon. Figure it out. It's data. Like, it will work either way. That Digimon fine. I was like, that, that's not what the card... I love it because everyone knows any anime that has a card element to it, more than likely they're not going to play the game exactly how it's played in real life. So, no one knew how to play Digimon. I had I had almost all the cards. <laughs> I had no idea how to play that damn game. No idea. I have all the cards. I didn't play. No idea. But I got all the cards. <laughs> like, we literally <laughs> played the game hella wrong, but I mean, it was fun for us. We literally take your you game. You played your own game. Yeah. You played your own Digimon. Literally. That's how you play Digimon. It was like, get your Digimon, lay them out, all your rookie all your rookie forms, draw whoever can like mega evolution all of their, their Digimon first wins. Everyone was like, okay, I think that makes sense. It's like, yeah, but they have the game is played. Hey, at all. No, at all, not at all, but hey, you know what? It was fun. 
Uh, but speaking about the games, though, you know, the video games, I I didn't even hear about Digimon games until, like, almost middle school. It's like, what is Digimon World? Really? I'm like, yeah, no, I saw the first Digimon, uh, Digimon World trailer, mm-hmm. which was weird looking, the first time for 3D effects, because the mouse moved. Like, oh, it's like this! I'm like, oh, uh, whoa, what in the world? <laughs> Why do you look like a bird trying to talk? But then you see the gameplay, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, so your Digimon's with you out there. All of a sudden, I was like, whoa, is it evolving already? That's pretty quick. Then dying, like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How'd it die? He didn't get hit. It's like, oh, it just aged out. Aged out! Then dies, comes back. I'm like, mm hmm. So it's like, you have to take care of your Digimon. Mm-hmm. The stakes are a little bit more higher. Yeah. Um, okay, I, for- on the other hand, again, showing my age, Game Informer magazines was where I always read about the Digimon games. But I could never find them. Uh. And then, fast forward in my 20s is when I, I really, you know, everything changed. We have we have uh, digital purchases now, so I don't have to get a physical game anymore. So that's when I started playing the Digimon games. And I'm a turn-based freak. So when I saw their already turn-based RPGs, pretty much, just slap my, my favorite... One of my favorite animes on there. You got my money. Like, oh yeah, Cyber Sleuth, one of them. Mm-hmm. And that one, it was a good turn-based game. People were like, "Oh, it's just copying Pokemon." Pokemon copied Final Fantasy, right? And even then, Final and, Fantasy copied something else. Yeah, to be it's fair, a turn-based game. Like when people say that, I hate them. They go, "Oh, it copied Pokemon." Pokemon Ball Catch Pokemon Digimon. You ain't catching them. You have to create them. And like, yeah, and you know what? You them. capture them. You either have you have to. Go to them, fight them, get a little bit of their data, you basically resolutionize them, then you have them. There's a new guy entirely. It's not like, hey, look, a Goblinmon. Why didn't they capture it? Uh oh. Like, I always, I always felt like the difference was enough. And the story. Like, Digimon, the Digimon games gave you a full story. Not like you know, I know. I feel like I'm bashing Pokemon right now, so I'm just going to keep them on the side. I love you. I love you, Pokemon. Don't, For the don't most get part, it twisted. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon kind of had the same story, but different each time. Right. There was some main bad guy you had to fight. A team of bad guys that was throughout the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sword and Shield was kind of different because it wasn't like you know an uh, evil team. It was more like a fan base kind of thing. It was Twitter. <laughs> yes. No, actually, that's a good point. Honestly, and, and it's funny because like in those games. They're finding more success, and they have the room to do that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like with the Digimon games, I don't. Again, I I play them here and there, but like the continuity of Digimon games, I feel that's where they're they're lacking. I think each game is its standalone, mm-hmm. its standalone thing, and mm-hmm. then they have like little Easter eggs, like like a, oh, a character from this game is featured in this one, and it's kind of oh, like, yeah. okay, yeah, because Digimon World, uh, next order. I played that game. I got I got through a lot. I didn't beat it, unfortunately. Every time I try to beat it, I want to try another game for a while. Because after a while, you play one certain game for a good while trying to level up. You're like, oh, I'm burning out from this game for a mm-hmm. bit. The grind is good to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I did notice that some of the characters from, on that game are actually from older games. In fact, one of the uh, one of the people that they suspect to be the bad guy is from the first Digimon World game. Mm-hmm. Then there's the woman who's in between like the world of humans and the world of Digimon. And there's another girl who's there with a... Ace Vidramon Ultimate guy? I can't remember its name, unfortunately. But uh, she was also in Cyber Sleuth. Like, two of these guys, people were in Cyber Sleuth. I'm like, oh, hey! Mm-hmm. Oh! Because it actually turns out there are many, many worlds of Digimon that have different types of rulers. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Yggdrasil. Yig, uh, I'm messing up that name. Uh, Yggdrasil. Mm-hmm. And that's basically the god of Poke- uh, God of Digimon. Uh, however, in another, and like there are many forms of him in other worlds. However, certain ones they have more like Greek Digimon in charge, mm-hmm. uh, or so on and so forth. There are alternate Digimon worlds, and they all can connect to each other in some way or form. But each of those Digimon worlds have their own human worlds that go around with them. Mm-hmm. Which is why in Digimon Cyber Sleuth, you actually go to another Tokyo to find this girl to help you fight Centauromon. <laughs> it's like yes, folks. Digimon was doing multiverses before multiverses. But it didn't complicate it all that much. It's like, yeah. listen, you're going to this other Earth to find this person. We're coming right back. That's it. And they know how to do this. They know. They kind of know each other. Just, just trust me. Trust me on this one. Like, <laughs> so, it's just a go in, get out. That's it. Just get in, 
get out, we're good to go. Okay, you get in, a little trouble happens, but as soon as you get through the trouble, they're like, okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Back in the home world. It's like, safe. And I think with the, and in my opinion, because the older I got, uh, my Digimon love kind of went more towards the games. Uh, just because, you know... Well, at the Tamers, it kind of got different. Yeah. Which is not bad. Like, Frontiers, which had the best intro. Best intro. Mm, like, the uh, music. And best intro. Although I do like the function they had with it, I understand where Zero to Chaos is coming from with the way the Digimon worked here. The kids could turn into Digimon, which, right. you know, everybody wants to be wants to do that. They want to become Digimon. But I'll let you explain it since, you know, this is your opinion on the matter of the Digi Digivolution and Frontiers. Yeah, because it was more of... And again, you don't want things to be too stable when it comes to your, your content. So it's like, they were like, well, what's one way we can shake it up but still give people that that Digimon love. And it was like, okay, well, let's have the kids just not have partners. They'll just turn into Digimon. Like in the ending series of uh, Tamers, right. where the kids and the Digimon fuse together. But in Frontiers, it was just, oh, I have this uh, elemental, elemental sphere of fire. I can turn into a Goonimon. There's no Digimon to fuse with one of that. Right, one. no DNA. Which I would agree on you. Like, they should at least have... A part in Digimon. They had the three Digimon on the side that helped yeah, out and had the information you needed, definitely. Right. That was good at least. They had some kind of help. But the one problem that I always found with uh, Frontiers was they always get their stuff stolen. Bruh. <laughs> I can't do it. My spirit got right. stolen. <laughs> like, as soon as they got beaten, ah! Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, mine. <laughs> it, it, it was your typical, like, that was like your typical old school anime style right there. Like, we did it. We, 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 we conquered it. Soup. Your or, or my favorite one, your princess is in another castle. Like, bruh, <laughs> oh, come on! I don't want to do this no more. And I remember one point in Frontiers, everybody except for one person had their Digibuy stolen, mm -hmm. and that was when let's see, oh uh, yeah, it was when Zoe, the elemental uh, person of wind, got their B spirit. Everyone else got their stolen by Tukemon to give to Ranamon because fanboy for Ranamon. And I'm just like, you guys left your stuff unattended? Again. You are dumb. Again. You know the stakes going on right here, and you left the important things behind. You have, no, you have one person have a job, you rotate that person out to have fun as well. You don't all just go have fun. It's the kid. <laughs> and, and, and that, that was always the excuse. But they're kids. They've seen death. They have been close to death. The world is literally crumbling like, beneath their feet. This is war. Let's just keep it real. We in a war right now, okay? Kids or no kids? There are four. Things things. There are no five, six dudes who are extremely powerful, extremely cunning, and extremely dangerous. After us, look. I understand some downtime. I understand some good downtime because you don't want to be in a state of stress every single day. But at the same time, you have to have that little place in your mind going. Got to be careful. Like, there's certain things here that are important that I might want to keep on to. And that, that too, though, I, as we're speaking of just, like, the frontiers, I think that was another kind of weird thing, too. But what kind of cool was that, like, the Digivices? How from Gen 1 all the way up to there, you saw the, the progression. Uh, again, toys. But... <laughs> I think toys after us. Talking it's bad. Okay. It's okay. I, I love mean, you. Yeah, I mean, we're not we're not dissing frontiers. Maybe a little bit, but not that much. Maybe a little bit, but it's, it's criticism. <laughs> it's criticism that we have with it. It doesn't mean we hate the series, right? We, I, I adore the frontier series because it adds a little more, more intensity to it. Right. I think it felt kind of cool, like you said before, how like the last season that we had we didn't really explore the digital world as much. So then they give us, literally, the next season, we're pretty much through the whole thing in the digital world. They're just like, here, we, we, we understand that we kind of took that away from you. And don't get me wrong, it is cool having the Digimon in the real world, because now you know the stakes are even higher. But the, the magical moments was having the kids in the digital world. And them going to the different the, the different regions 
in the digital world. Yeah. And, and seeing the change and the and that was cool. I, I thought that was you know, even the little things of how like back in season one when um they were like, Hey, don't we have to eat? And it's like you're your code. <laughs> like, you don't eat. They're, they're just like, you don't have to eat. And he's like, oh. Like, yeah, this is digital world. It's all digital code and stuff. That oh, yeah. Not fly but here. even then, like, well, the Digimon still had to eat something. They had to, like, get some kind of intake of something to evolve to make them stronger. Though I will say the funniest part was when uh, Palmon got a bunch of bananas down. Mimi goes, open up. There's no banana. You just see Palmon just eat them. <laughs> eat them. Yeah, like, I punch her. I'd be mad. I'm like, you don't get me to eat this. You are actual mad. They're just, just like, is this how this works? Although Frontiers had a weirder one. Like, they had vegetables and all that, mm -hmm. but you had to cook them because it tasted like me. It's like, wow, a vegan based show. <laughs> They're like, see, we were ahead of the game before anyone else. You didn't <laughs> even realize it. Now, I would say, honestly, after the Frontier season is when I think I kind of was like I was, I was at that, that age where we weren't really getting the newer Digimon like that. So it was either you had to purposely go out and find the newer stuff. Um, I do know that they had the not the remake, but they had like the uh, the return of the original Digidestin. Oh yeah. Uh, that was... Two, three years ago, maybe? Mm -hmm. And it was more like a revamped kind of telling of the story a bit. Uh, and I found that series to be pr pretty cool. There was a little more depth to it this time. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, miasma virus, I guess, which was dangerous. One thing I found cool was the Digimon had different features as well. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for Metal Greymon, like he a normal uh, Metal Greymon, but with Thigh, he got some extra stuff added to him. Same as where Rumon and even Togemon... Or Palmon had a secondary evolution that wasn't Togemon. It was, I can't remember his name, but it had some Burro and Maracas and all that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, that actually more followed the game more a bit. Because, you know, different evolutionary lines. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that, too, like, they realized at this point we've established Digimon and what we want the viewer to understand. And that, that, that was I always felt what made the game so unique at that point. Because of what they didn't tell us in the first, like, four seasons with Digimon. You play the game and you're like, whoa, what are, like, half of these Digimon that are in this game? And they're just like, oh, no, there's... This is not something that we just threw together. This is a very thought-out process. Yeah. I remember I remember getting the medals in Cyber Sleuth. I was like, where this guy? I want him. Well, he's not in the game, but he is he is Digimon. But, but I want him. But he's not here. But I want him. In fact, there was one thing I always wanted to see in Digimon series. The X antivirus Digimon. Mm. You hear that? If, I, if, this, if this ever reaches someone up there. Cause, do it. Because they, oh, they, had a, they had a CGI movie entirely about this. Mm -hmm. It's where we got introduced to Dorumon. Mm -hmm. He has the X antivirus. However, other Digimon could get it as well. Like, uh, Agumon X. He looks like Greymon a bit, but, you know, no skull cap yeah, on cool. his head. He's had, like, blue lines on him. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, Digimon's, like, the forms of them change a bit because of the X antivirus. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool looking because when you see, like, uh, Omimon X, it's like, oh! Dang! How powerful is he? He can beat that one in, like, five seconds flat. Dang! <laughs> Woo! The power, and that too though. I think that's another thing that we didn't bring up. The power scaling in Digimon was real. Holy crap. Zero. What does the scouter say about their power levels? Do, 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 do. It is. It's ultimate. No, it's mega. No. Like, oh, no. It's beyond. It's beyond. The, my, my favorite about that was still the, the 90s commercial for the, the card game. And, like, and he's like, I'm champion, I'm ultimate, I'm mega, no way! And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> I don't know what that means at this point, but I want it. And then you... Why do I want this for? And I loved, oh my gosh, like, what was the, like, Skull Greymon? Oh. And, like, and like that, that, whole, that whole thing? Like, that, I feel like that was, like, their first attempt at trying to, like, explain, like, the different arcs of evolution. And they were just like, if they get it, we'll keep it. we'll keep this. If they don't, it's an episode. 
an episode already happened. And, oh, I remember just, and it felt good, because they didn't just do the whole thing like I feel like a lot of RPGs do, where it's like, here's the same creature, just a different color. No. Each creature had its unique quality to it. If it was, if it looked like Agumon, but it spit ice, there was something about that Digimon that was different to yeah, it. Yeah, Ice Agumon, right? Right. And I'm like, I like that. And, and that is like, yeah, it's, just, it's easier to, to... Or like Gabumon, but his coat is purple. Mm -hmm. Sunomon, and he's more of a sidekick type of thing, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it was those things where I'm like, ooh. And, and just to take it there, you know, and... And as I, like I said before, like I grew up more heavy with Digimon, and when I got a little bit older, I, I started really getting into Pokemon. So it it always feels good when you bump into like younger kids who are are fans of Digimon. Like I always think like wow, and I, I, I always want to hear their story of like what did you watch that got you into this? And funny, I forgot the. Uh, it's not the the newest one. It was like a, uh, I'm like I'm thinking Zeal, but it's not Digimon Zeal. Is that something? Is it Data Squad? I think it was the one where Mark, like the guy punches a Digimon. He gets like a little Data thing and yes. he evolves his Agumon to uh, Geo Greymon. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna say this. When I first saw Data Squad, I was a little more confused and concerned because like, who the heck is Geo Greymon? But then I see him like, okay, he's a little more lean, a little more muscular. Cool. He looks good. A little band on his arms. Nice. <laughs> then he evolved more. I'm like, there's more levels to this. He has a real gun. <laughs> I'm like, tell you, like, and, and that's another thing with Digimon. It's like, they literally was like, just draw something. Whatever's in your imagination, put it on paper. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. And, and legit, where they're just like, I want a Digimon, I want a Digimon that's a dragon that has two plasma cannons. Why? Why not? Make Why it not? happen. You know? Like, I, I will say this about Data Squad, though. Marcus had the cojones to go up to a thing, to go to a monster 20 times his size and just start punching it. Like, <laughs> Even people on the TV are like, is he crazy? Next thing you see him just sucker punch a giant uh, cockatoo on. Boom! Ha! Like when all this fails, throw them hands. <laughs> Let's go. And this thing, too, and I, and I will say, the uh, that series... I really didn't watch it fully. I, I saw more uh, clips, and um, I saw, like, on social media, things like that. Mm. Uh, I do need to just sit down and watch it. I will say this. The death toll on this went up higher than anything else. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Humans caused a bit of a stir in the digital world. They invaded the digital world <laughs> and started deleting, not, you know, not, oh, uh, I'm going to turn back into an egg. No, deleting Digimon off the face of everything. I'm like... Oh! Oh my god, no! Again, again, people, people, why do they always depict humans in this way? Every time. It's just like, we couldn't just go to the digital world, learn some new things, maybe get some new trades. No, we came in and we conquered them. My thing would be this, like, why would you just go out and attack them for? Because they're dangerous. I would offer me a snow cone! Like, you know, they're not all dangerous. Lies, lies, lies. That big one over there said he wanted to do massive destruction to the whole universe. You all are bad. It's like, yeah, come on. Like, I mean, it would have been better if they tied it over to Devimon from season one. Devimon or one of the, or even yeah. a Pokemon kind of thing. Yeah, they don't understand. Y'all live that. Y'all was like, look, y'all don't remember when this big Digimon came over to our world and was trying to capture us and take over? Like, mm -hmm. okay, I can see maybe why you're a little bit scared. <clears throat> Even, um... Well, as far as I know, the Digimon series, like, for most of them, they don't intertwine into, like, Cross Wars. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all in their own separate worlds. Right. Uh, but even then, in, in Data Squad, like, after the evil human is destroyed, Yggdrasil, you know, Pokemon God, he's pissed. He is mad mm -hmm. that these humans came to his home, onto his turf, and started killing his people. He's like, hell no. I was like, hey, we took care of the guy. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, you all guilty. It's like, but, there's no buts. Shoo. Be gone. Yeah, not to mention, and this is spoilers, by the way, if you want to actually watch the series, watch the series yes. first. Uh, Marcus's dad, who's been gone, like, the whole time. Like, he disappeared. Like, oh, he just helped his family. No. He was actually about to be executed by Yggdrasil 
due to the blaming of the humans and all that. His partner Digimon, Bonjo Leomon, badass Digimon, by the way, <laughs> actually took his spirit inside him to save him. You just took over his dad's body, by the way. It's like, a, oh, I'm going to put salt in your wound right now. I take over your body. Dick! <laughs> like, okay. I, 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 and, the, and the Royal Knight Digimon, Omnimon, uh, Magnamon, all the other head honcho guys, except for maybe a few. Like, we don't see Alphamon. Like he, like, he is the only knight who never shows up in any of the series, only the game. Hmm. Uh, and, who was the other Cent- uh, I think it was uh, Centaurama. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it was a centaur knight guy. And he's actually p- partnered with the head guy of Dats, who's, you know, in charge of markets and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, he's got, these, all the knights, on him and all them, are ready to destroy all the humans. It wasn't until Marcus started punching them, they started like, maybe we should rethink this a bit. This human's going all out fighting us. He's not even, he's like, his Digimon uh, is fighting us. This dude just broke that dude's shield. That thing is like 10 feet thick. He just punched through it. Maybe we need to rethink a bit here. Like, why is he fighting that hard to save his planet? And it gets to the point where they defeat Yggdrasil and they kind of restart the world and all that. And they're going to close off the gateway to the digital world and human world. For safety reasons of both sides. Where Marcus just goes, I'm in a digital world, man. I'm going to fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay here. With this. I'm going to stay here with my buddy. I don't want to leave him. I'll be back. You know, open the gate up and all that. I'll be back. But, uh, you know, I want to fight some guys who can give me a good challenge. I'd be at everybody in town. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. I'm, I'm chill. All right? And that's the thing, man. It's like... I- I just can't think of, like, of course, like, there, there's the good and the bad with Digimon, but it's just, like, there's just so much good with it. It's so much corniness, but it's a good corniness. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Cross Wars, a.k.a. Uh, Fusion in America, which I'm like, no, Cross Wars was so much better name. Mm-hmm. Uh, it got, like, it got English, it got kid down a lot, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I was sad, and, like, oh. And that's where, I think, like, for our, our generation, like, the, you know, the adults... I think that's where it gets a little bit tough, because we want to watch this stuff, but then they just, like you said, they, they just kidify it. Yeah. Like super kidify just, it. Like, I don't just watch the Japanese, but just like, I'm a guy who wants to understand, like, I listen when I'm doing stuff. I like to hear the words a bit. I'm a guy who can either listen to words, read it, both, but good. I don't know Japanese, unfortunately, so I have to read it. Mm-hmm. If I learn Japanese, I can probably listen to it a little better. But for the most part, for Cross Wars... It was still a good story, even kidified, uh, heavily edited, unfortunately, yeah. and I can understand. I can understand why for a few characters, and which I'm going to say this Digimon as a whole. Why are they making the human female Digimon look too good? <laughs> I swear to God, first time we see Lilymon, like, oh, she's really cute, Andromon. She's uh. Oh, my voice just changed. <laughs> you go from like, yay, yeah, cool, look out, cool. Oh, thing, my God. It, it, you know how it is? And, and, and again, if you are an anime lover, you know what it is. Fan service! Bam! They're just like, look. <laughs> look. Hero, and especially at the end of the first season, Angel Mom versus Lady Debbie Mon. We see that slapper like... Hey, no one's... Woo! Right, no one's complaining. We good. We see this. We we straight. If I uh, if you come back to like the the guys of the group sitting back with popcorn, you would not be surprised. <laughs> you would not be surprised, would you? Even the villain be going, "This is actually pretty entertaining." My my young innocent mind back then would have not. That's a lie. I, I instantly knew what they was doing. <laughs> we went to school the next day and went, "You know you saw you know you saw that right." You know what I'm saying? Hey hey, hey you see that fat lip match or that last night? You're talking about wrestling? No, I'm talking about Digimon. Oh, Digimon. oh, your little Digimon thing? No, no, no. Watch this episode when it comes on. I was like, I'm done. Whoa. Okay, I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man? I guess like that, 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 that's what, like, right there is that, that give and go. And it's like, and it, it just made you feel so good because there wasn't that many of us. And I, 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 will, I will die on that hill. Like, that's the hill you will kill yourself on. Like, I ain't moving from this hill. This is the hill I am staying on. Like, Digimon was boss. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Like I would say, for every for every one Digimon fan, there was like five Pokemon fans. So you were always behind when it came to the like the, the core group. I remember going to conventions when I was in college, 
and we, we, we would sit there in dealers' rooms, or we'll sit there in the Digimon panels, and Pokemon panels, big atriums, like huge seating. Mm -hmm. Digimon, you may get the corner, the, the, the corner room, you know, that could fit maybe 20-something people. <laughs> And out of that 20-something seating, maybe, like, 10 will be there, you know? And we're all just like, yeah! And that's what hurts. But it feels good, like, to go, like, hey, man, you remember Digimon? Hell yeah! Well, now, well, now since the internet has become such a bigger thing, mm -hmm. people are actually seeing Digimon more often. Because remember, when Digimon first came out, we didn't have YouTube. No, YouTube. We didn't have the fan channels on, on the internet mm -hmm. just yet. Nothing. It was just word to mouth. And then, all of a sudden, the internet comes out. It's like, hey, check this out. What's this? Agumon Digivolve 2? Greymon! Oh! That's cool. Whoa! What's that? What is that? Digimon. That's Digimon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing you, you, you said was just copy a Pokemon. And one thing I also loved was, you know, Digi like when Digimon got tired, they reverted back to their pre-form, because that's, that's their default have to be form. Mm -hmm. They're not there yet. They can just go and be there. Like, even Gatamon, the first series, mm -hmm. uh, she was already in champion level right there. Right. She was the only champion level out of everyone there that was just default right there. Mm -hmm. And the only time she ever went back was when she used up way too much more power. Right. But after she get, but after she gained power again, she was the default back Gatomon. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else default back to their rookies, which was which made sense. Yeah, and it she was, had a harder life than they did. Right, and plus like you said like possibly just just living longer too though, because the way because like the way they kind of explained it with her in that series was like you've been here for a while, you've been searching for your Digidestin for a a good bit. Not to mention, you dealt with this jackass. Right. You dealt with that guy. You, you had to survive. <laughs> you had to fight for your life because of that one guy. You had to get strong. Otherwise, you were dead. Like, you were just... Because I know, and again, all of my Cresta Hope fans out there, I'm Team Hope. That's all, that's all I can say right there. That, that, oh, Angelmon, all that. Can't go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And even that, even even those things, like all, all, all the crests, then they went, it was, and how it just like, I was going to say like evolved, but how it digivolved into just like this fandom of just craze. It had it had everything right in my opinion. It, it's just like you said, it just we lived in a time where there wasn't much access to it. So it was like if you didn't watch like Fox Kids back in the day. Mm -hmm. Or um, Fox Box when that happened. Like if you if you missed it that weekend, you missed it for the week, and it was just like, damn. <laughs> oh yeah. Then when uh, Fox and all that went to uh, went to satellite and all that, people missed out a lot more. More. Or uh, they missed out on like uh, let's see, because Wild Force was the last one on Fox, mm -hmm. and then it went to Disney. Right. And then Jetix and everything. Yeah, with Jetix and all that, and after a while. They cut cable out of their th thing. Like, mm -hmm. no one's using cable anymore. We still use cable. You're not paying. Well, we need satellite because, mm. and that's And that was terrible. Like, I was fortunate enough to even get satellite. Mm -hmm. And it took a while for us to even get that. Man, mm. I grew up, you know, in a cable home most of my life. And once, because, like, honestly, nowadays, you know, you don't really need cable. You know, internet. Have, have a good, strong internet connection. You at least had YouTube, Crunchyroll, Funimation. You, you have ways yeah, the streaming to services and all that. Piece it together, but I just remember like back in the day, it was like when the TiVo happened. It was literally like just war at my house. Why you keep recording all these Digimons? Because we at church. Because we're at church, and while we're at church, there's the kids in the digital world that I can't look at. I remember that. I remember, like, after that, they like, came out with, like, uh, oh, what was the other one? Uh, there was DirecTV with TiVo, mm -hmm. and I think it was Comcast or something else. The on-demand stuff. So, so, like, you could actually pause your video and walk away for a mm -hmm. bit. And TiVo couldn't do that unless you had it recorded. I'm like, we gotta get that. No, we already have this. But you can pause your show right here. We, I don't care. We can just record it. But I don't, you told me not to record this stuff. Because you're always recording your stuff. <laughs> I swear to God, right now, I can go to my parents' house, and their box be 99% full. And it's mostly blue bloods. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I gave you guys password to Paramount Plus. Blue bloods on the man right there. Use that. It ain't gonna happen. I know. And I'm like, I love you, Mom. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. I, yo, I, I, I have said this before. 
we have every streaming service between my, my whole family. Mom still wants cable. It's just, just how it is. And I remember sitting there, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. At this point, it is what it is. But I would say, um, at the end of the day, I I regret nothing when it comes to Digimon. Oh, yeah. Like, the shows, I, the games. the Just the community, the atmosphere around it. Like, if I had to say, here's my pitch. If you want to enjoy a wholesome story with amazing character development, colorful, beautiful scenery, uh, just the conversation piece, Digimon. All of them. Even Frontier. I, I have... Even I, Cross Wars has yes. its good moments. Like, see? Like, I have... I, I can guarantee you. Like, I'm not going to say that you're going to love it as much as maybe, like, Pokemon is. But you will... I feel like you will get to understand and enjoy what Digimon is. And that and that is what... I, 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 that's, that, that's my... That's my flag. I'm putting it there. Mm. Uh... There was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah. The newer series now, called Ghost Games. Mm -hmm. That one, I started watching while I was on VR chat in one of the worlds that was, it was on there. I'm like, okay, let's see how it is. It's going to be Japanese, but I can always read the subtitles. I watched the first episode, and it had Clockmon on there. Mm -hmm. Now, we know Clockmon. He looks, he's a little silly kind of guy. He's like, you know, it's like a weird dude on top of a clock and all that. Okay, not bad. They made him look demonic, man. I'm like, you keep that guy away from me. Uh-uh. I'm not dealing with that guy. That guy looked like he'll eat my soul for breakfast. You see, and that's what we want. Though. We want like I feel like that is what needs to like happen. Like, we, yeah. Like, we here's start. the even crazier part. He was aging people up to old age near death. For some reason, I can't remember why. I was too scared. I'm like, what the hell? So, so I gotta read but watch at the same time. And, uh, 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 and they even had they had a return of one of my favorite kind of characters, Mummy Mon. Not the same oh, Mummy Mon, man. but a Mummy Mon, and he was apparently a doctor, and he was trying to have, like, find a way of eternal life, and for all these sick people. Like, he was writing people up like mummies and all that. I'm like, oh, that's not terrifying. That's, that's, that, that, that's totally, uh... Yeah, although it did okay. get better. Like, they actually, like, they actually made him see the air of his way. It's like, no one can live forever. It's like, okay. I'm still gonna have nightmares, but okay. <laughs> it's like, no one can live forever, but we're cold. Uh, I'll, I'll just say this: like the series, like I think Ghost Games is still going on, and is getting. I haven't seen everything. I've just been seeing snippets and clips. So far, the the main character Digimon has dark evolved a couple times by now. I'm like, I remember that only happened once in the series, once 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 in each series of some somewhere form. This they're doing like it's just a new thing, like it's uh, Sora's uh, anti form of Kingdom Hearts two. He just. Oh, that's random. <laughs> it's like, I'm not mad, though. Because that looks cool. <laughs> I'm not mad. But dang. <laughs> um, but yeah, Digimon, I'll always love it. Uh, despite some of the flaws it has. It's the same as Pokemon. Pokemon has flaws, Digimon has flaws. I still love them. And honestly, if they did a crossover, I would be shelling out money. I'd be taking my wallet. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. It could honestly happen a way. Yeah. Because Porygon mm -hmm. is a Pokemon that can go into electronics and all that. Same with uh, Rotom. Mm -hmm. And think about this. If they went to the internet, they could actually find a digital world. Yeah. I mean, technically... Yeah, technically... Right. It's never going to happen. Well, like, 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 let's be honest. Like, these companies are never going to come together like that. Of course. But think about it, too. When you catch Pokemon and you exceed your six... They get transported to the the PC. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I mean, I know like in the anime they showed like it goes to Professor Oak through the the PC, but like most of the time I thought they just lived in the PC and you just like boop just put this transport. Yeah, that's over. where all of Ash's Taurus come from. Right. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you know, you don't have to catch like fifty of these. Why not? It's just, it's Why just not? Convenient. I, I like them. <laughs> it's convenient. But oh, I'm gonna name him hamburger, him steak. Him chop, uh, him chop roast, him hamburger too. <laughs> hamburger helper what? No! <laughs> but honestly, I could see it in a way that it happens. Uh, and like, either the Digimon Tamers, 
find their world, like either find their way to the to the Pokemon world where some bad uh, Digimon head guy is, you know, causing havoc, and no one knows why. Like these new Pokemon are uh, showing up and talking for some reason, <laughs> until all of a sudden you hear Nova Blast. <laughs> what in the world? I got the thing on. <laughs> they're sitting there. They like meet me out or something. They're just like, oh, you can talk, but. They can't talk. It's like, long story. Long story. <laughs> that, uh, although, the funny thing would be this. The Pokemon and Digimon could actually talk to each other. Oh, God. Think about it. Like, <laughs> like wait, you're going to stand them? Of course I can. Like, you don't? How? We're data. We know every language. <laughs> right. It's like, you know we're just code, right? Like, it is what it is. You know what you kind of languages works for us, right? Like, internet style, we can just go to Google Translate. <laughs> It's right here. Oh, God. <laughs> Do not even put the name Google with Digimon. Please don't. Googlemon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Googlemon. It's a honestly, big search bar. Honestly, that just makes me think of Appmon. You know that one? No. This was a side series of Digimon. Let me put it this way. It wasn't Digimon. Same company. They even had an episode where Agumon was on there because of a game on there. But all it was was application monsters, basically. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I see what you're doing. Like I, and it wasn't terrible. Like, it wasn't awful, but it's like, but why? It really didn't need to be made. It didn't. It did not even go that far. I think even I think rust. even people in Japan didn't really like them. I was like, "Where's Digimon?" Nah, you know, because again, you don't you don't want to be like a certain Pokemon Go, but you also want to be different. But sometimes you can be too different, and it don't work at all. Let's see. I will show you. Okay, called Atmon. I've seen, I've seen that one. Yeah, the Hackmon. Which I'm surprised. Like, isn't there any Digimon called Hackmon? There is. I think so. Yeah. It's like a weird wolf-like looking kind of guy. Little do we know, they're just planting these seeds so they can just like slowly just transition those over to like a current series if they need to. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know. I will always play the games. Like, I still have Cyber Sleuth on PS4 and on Switch. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Getting Digimon World, New Front, uh, Next Order on my Switch to have on the go and all that. And, you know, I will always be a Digimon fan through and through. I will never dismiss Pokemon, but I will never, ever denounce Digimon. Because that, that show, that show helped me become creative as hell. I can... I can agree. I can agree. It's like Digimon was one of my was one of the first animes that I got into. So it's like I could say without Digimon, there would I maybe would have not gotten to to you know DBZ. Like I watched Digimon before like Dragon Ball Z. And that so it's like that was like kind of my intro into that, mm -hmm. and then it grew from there. So it's like. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should wrap this up a bit because uh, things are going a bit crazy here. Okay, I think that I think I think your snap power is starting to pull me back. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> I thank you though. I mean, even though you you, you, you snap me back here again, there there's the phone. <laughs> but I will try to get the phone. But the snap is a little powerful. Not to mention this has been the plan. This has been the making for what about three four years oh, since before. Geez. Yes, since before. <laughs> um, the uh, Backstreet Boys uh, concert was going on. That's what King Rose called it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, we, we've been talking about this video for a while now. And we you know, are, you know, of course, with the world and things that happen outside of the world. And just with a personal. certain type of sickness going around. You know. <laughs> uh, like, we planned this so long ago. And I want to talk about it. Uh, with everybody on here, uh, Utaku Kent kind of knew Digimon, but he wasn't really into it like he was with Pokemon. I was a bigger Digimon fan, and I found out that Zero here was a Digimon fan. I'm like, do you want to do a video? He goes, yeah, let's plan it out. 2020 happened. Yep. <laughs> Just, bam, shut down. <laughs> shut down. Can't see anybody. Uh... 
But with the power of this man's snap, which I saw he's Thanos, just trust me, you know, and a little bit of magic, a little bit of love and fandom, we got it done. And I am not disappointed in that. Uh, I'm always here, guys. Y'all know, y'all, y'all see me a lot more this year. And I'm happy about that. So, and again, thank you for letting me, uh, should I say let me do it? Th- thank you for summoning me. I don't know. So we can finally do all this. Because it was, it was way too long of holding back on all this. Like, ever since we first started talking about it, I was giddy for it. And then all of a sudden, shut down. It's like, oh! It's like, dang it. And then, you know, years and like, okay. And I even remind you, like, you know, I still want to talk about this stuff sometime soon. And it was when we started getting back to the filming kind of stuff after the whole stuff was going on. Mm-hmm. And cause I, I know you wanted to be sure to be safe because you were living with your parents at the time. And I believe they were high risk as well. Yep. The same with my, same with my know, parents when I them. T- taking the precautions and being safe with everything. And, you know, thankfully, you know, everything panned out and we were able to knock this out. Because, I mean, again, it's Digimon. Like, of course I'll talk about Digimon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. Heck, I'm playing about, you know, doing gameplay of Digimon. I can actually play, hey. uh, I can actually play Next Order on my PS5 and stream it for, the, like, one of my Twitch games. I think that, I think that should be something that happens. Because I'm telling you, once you see it, like, like once you experience it and see Digimon, it, it's over. Like it, you will fall in love. I'm telling you, you'll fall in love with it. Mm, you'll fall in love with the characters. You'll fall in love with the dynamic of Digimon. You'll fall in love with even the dark stuff that happens. And it's all good, guys. It's all good. But anyways, I think that's a good. That's a good spot to wrap it all up in. We talked about basically the whole series. We talked about all the games in general. We didn't. Talk, we didn't talk about the newer one that came out. Was a turn-based one and all that, but I haven't really played it. I haven't seen much of it. I kind of wanted to play it myself when I uh, buy the game itself. Mm-hmm. So maybe once I buy the game, we can come back and talk about the game a bit. Okay. Do a bit of a mini-review on it. Definitely. And I'll actually, you know, drive here and not get summoned from the ether. <laughs> or from the digital world. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, oh. Well, too late. We're already on the internet. See the YouTube? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we're going um, to be overtaking my NFT soon. <laughs> Do not get me started. <laughs> Digital digi coins or something like. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, look, there's NFT mon. Oh no. Jump <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, but>, a <laughs> fire. But oh man, but um, I would say uh, if y'all ever want to check out anything on my end, uh, I'm Zero to Chaos on YouTube or uh, Final Stage Promotions. Uh, if you want to catch me live, I'm also on Twitch at FSPN on Twitch. And that's it for me. All right. Now, the real question is, how am I getting home? Uh, I think your car's outside. But it is. There you go. There, now you're not going to be thrown back to your home. How do you do that? I quit questioning a long time ago. I'm going to go now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> guys, I'm going to be Dan. <laughs> I review the good, the bad, making sure you have a blast. And we'll see you next time. Deuces! Otaku Kent, we have some we have some explaining to do with this one. Oh no.